Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woking, I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. Today, I want to talk about specifically some of the stuff that's been happening on JP lately. Some of this is mainly me kind of getting my thoughts out there. Um, forgive me if it's a little bit rambly, because again, it is my thoughts, and it literally just dropped like two days ago, so I've been giving it some time to kind of just stay in my mind, and now I'm ready to talk about it. So that's going to be today's video, I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment down below about the thing I'm talking about, or anything really, I guess. And subscribe to me if you want some more. So, Christmas time. Christmas time has now become infamous for me because it is now the month where it's most likely for them to not do a rerun of an old event. And this one specifically is the Christmas event. So if you don't know, or if you're somehow unaware and you're clicking a fake grand order video and you don't know this, at most there will only ever be one rerun of an event in Fago, and then it's basically put away in a vault. That means getting the free-to-play character attached to them is extremely rough and extremely hard. If you miss it the first year around, you have to basically get it on the second year around. Otherwise, you have to basically hope and pray that they release it in some form um, through a shop or some other kind of system that doesn't seem to make a lot of sense, the rate in which old units get released. But basically, if you miss out on an old unit, you're basically screwed. Like, if you wanted OG Nobu, the archer, you're kind of screwed. If you wanted a lot of the older free-to-play, if you wanted Santa Altar, um, which is uh, Saber Altar's the first ever Christmas unit, you're kind of screwed out. You can't get her. But at least she got reran once. So it's actually very important that they do they get a rerun of a, of a free-to-play character because you basically only ever have two chances to get them, and then you have to wait and hope for a third... <laughs> chance to potentially get them. The problem is is that now in December, Fago has seemingly skipped two Christmas uh, events. Samba Quetz, which is her Samba Christmas, and now Karna, which was supposed to be the rerun for this year, but they skipped it and they went straight to the new event, which is right here, Christmas 2021. Um, why are they doing this? Well, let's go back to Samba. Back when it first happened with Samba, a lot of people came up with a lot of bullshit theories. And the biggest bullshittery, bullshittery one of them all was that it got skipped because it had to. It was a parody of Kaneku Man, and Shonen Jump was basically like, "Raw, raw, raw. We're gonna shut you down. You can't do this anymore." Um, which is full on bullshit because the story itself was basically a parody of Kaneku Man taking elements from Kaneku Man. Kaneku Man itself is a parody of wrestling and uses parodies in it. So why would a parody come after a parody? It's never made any sense, and it only happens in a fan base where almost no one <laughs> has ever read Kaniku Man. Um, the other bullshit reasons that I had seen around was that uh, it's technically an action story. It doesn't really fit Christmas. It's like what? That also doesn't make any sense because in that case, most of the Halloween events also don't factor into anything because they don't actually deal with Halloween. But they reran those, no problem. The third, which I thought was actually the most plausible until I looked into it, was that Bradamante and Quetz aren't that popular. And I was like, okay, maybe that's a little bit more fair. Um, and that's basically the three that get shared around. And then I discovered the truth. Me and Common basically discovered the truth because I was researching this for a video that is still not released and I plan to release some year at some point. Uh, we basically discovered the real reason that Samba Quetz got skipped, and this is the same reason that Santa Karna got skipped, is that they don't really... <laughs> basically, Vago ran out of time, and to cut, to give themselves more time, they cut the Christmas rerun. Now, what does that specifically mean? If we look back in the history, let's go back to two years real quick. Um, what big thing was happening? Atlantis. Atlantis was being released. Now, why is this such a big thing? Because people had been for months. I want to say July. It might actually be before July. This was the last time a Lost Belt released. So it had been one, two, three, four, five, six months since the last time a story thing dropped. Um, and story is extremely important to Fago in general. I think where they get their mo make their most money is actually from story drops because that's where you get the most character development for your characters because you get a full-on story added to the game. Um, if you ever wondered like, hey, where did all these hype new units come from? Like 
like for example in the more recent side on the jp side morgan tristan uh, guy win guy win guy win um and lancelot the fairy versions of them have been getting a lot of fan art recently in the seas everything and you're wondering like damn where do these characters blow up and the answer is the story which is very important <laughs> that's where they get most of their money i want to say when you look at the quarterly earnings of Fago, they get the biggest rise when a new story chapter is released so as you can see here like these were so popular they released them twice because they released them before the banner dropped i want to say around here it might have been around here let me see some of campaign three yeah so before this banner they were released and then they brought them back because people were like, I finished the story and I actually want them now. And it's like, okay, we're going to bring them back, which is the fastest the unit has ever been brought back. So with that in mind, what's happening this year that's so important? The Tungsky Sanctuary, which is what they are basically calling, it's an event, but it's also very story focused and very important to all of Fago. And it features Tamamo as one of the, the, the Vich, the, um... I guess the evilest version of Tomomo. It features her in it, and it's a big story event, and it's very important. So, this has to come out late December. Let's just look at December. Okay, main quest, clear aid campaign, sure. Here till the 31st. Interlude campaign, sure. And then, this has to happen for two weeks, because it goes from the 8th to the 17th. You see, that is actually barely like usually christmas is two weeks this is a basically a, an extended week because it's like a week and like two days which is crazy for an event i have to i have to look back now actually i'm gonna look back to this year Let's see if you can see here november 28th to the 12th 28th to the 12th that's two weeks they literally cut time down from this event because they're like yo we just literally have no more time in December because they basically have to get this new event out. They have to get this story right here, the Tonsil Sanctuary. And then for New Year's, they have to release a new event based around um, New Year's itself. So you can, no, 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 that's not it. So you look something funny enough it was a rerun here so maybe they could have actually saved it for new year's but they decided not to and they're like it needs to come out december that's what we need it the most so what happens when you don't have a lot of time and you need to have something done by a set amount of time you start you start skipping stuff and that's how we get where we are now where santa carna gets skipped back in um 2019 the reason that this kind of got stuck uh skill the reason Quetz got uh, skipped, I think, is because it turned out this was the year that there was the terrible tsunami that basically halted all Japanese game development for months. And yeah, in order for them to finish the super important story that they needed, they actually needed way more time. So that's why this dropped December 18th and a crazy time. Um, and they had to skip, they had to skip Quetz. And not only that, they had to... Um, start Christmas and the 28th and while Thanksgiving was still going on like story is so important to them they're like no you need all from they you basically have an entire year till the end of the till the end of the year before you need to start worrying about the new event because the new event started January 4th that means from when this dropped Atlantis Lost Bell which was the 18th they didn't they basically had you do nothing for one two two weeks and three days which is longer than most events except for ccc so yeah this is going to keep on happening because as fago kind of gets keeps getting going and it seems more now especially more now that their big events that are always planned for the end of december they're not going to meet the deadlines for and what ends up so who ends up suffering is actually us because now i don't even know if santa martha will be here next year and I don't even know if we're going to get like something like the Liz's, because the Liz's got um, a special kind of event. There we go here. The Liz's got a special event where you could get all three of them. See, the Halloween trilogy. The problem with doing that for Christmas is that 
um, for this event here, they already had their rerun, so it was very easy to kind of set them up, and there was kind of like a continuous story, and then you were going into the next one, which was a new Liz. It's not the way it is with Christmas. If anything, Christmas is kind of was only like that for the first three years. So they had this one featuring Santa Alter, and then they had um, Spam, Spamta. Where is where Spamta? There you go. As you can see here, Spamta, the new event started on the twenty eighth. And then what was saved for here? Solomon. That was what was important to them to finish first. Um, but then here's the other problem. This Christmas 2017 event has already been rerun that you can buy in the Mana Prism shop because uh, Erish is in it. And she, her story and why she's with us is very important and tied to this event. So they had to release it first because they're like, very important Erish backstory exists in this uh, event. So everyone can have it. So she wouldn't be in it. She couldn't be in it. And then next is, of course, Samba Quetz. And then this is where you get, um... Oh, well, right here. This is where you get Nightingale. Where's Nightingale? There it is. Nightingale, and then this year was Santa Carna, and then this year Skip Santa Carna, straight for Sant uh, Santa Martha. So, yeah. More than now, now more than ever, you have to be prepared to get these Christmas units right when they drop, right on that year, because you never know now if they're gonna be if it's if they're actually gonna get rerun next year. That's just kind of the way that the it has to unfortunately be with um, Fago at the moment, and I wish it wasn't like that to be honest. Um, in a perfect world, they'd be able to balance it where they would have all three of them possibly out. Cause look, look at this, look what they had in December. This is fine, I guess. This is fine. But then, is you know, interludes are for forever. It's similar to story, so... And sometimes you don't even have any of these units. If you don't have... Everyone would have her. But if you don't have these units, you're basically shit out of luck. You're SOL. Because <laughs> for the seconds of the night, your only new content was a Little Potato Sister. That was it. It was a story for a Little Potato Sister, and that's it. Um... Just main quest clear campaigns until boom, Christmas 2021, and then now you're waiting till for this event to end, and then hopefully this one. It's a mess, honestly. I think it's a mess, and I hope that they kind of get better with it. I understand that story is important to them, but they have to also realize that a lot of these characters who are getting free-to-play variants, like for example, Karna was a five-star, Quetz was a five-star. Like those are units that are story locked and free-to-play, sure. Uh, not free to play. Card is not free to play. Well, with the ticket. He's always in every banner, and Quetz is story locked, which is like limited with extra steps. So it's actually very hard to get their five star version, because they're usually not in a lot of banners, because, you know, they're they're never featured, which is ac it's actually legitimately hard to get not featured units. So to have a free version of them for someone who doesn't have the luck is extremely important. And for them to just straight up skip Karna and also Quetz, it's, it's unacceptable in my eyes. I'm always going to be someone who loses out on it, I think, because I think for the most part, people are okay with them skipping things if it means they get a shiny new thing. But nah, man, you have to think about it in terms of, even if you're not free to play, there's plenty of whales out there who do not have their favorite character, or if they do have their favorite character, they want them in a new outfit, and maybe they were too busy to get them at this specific time. Like, if you were busy from December 16th to December 30th, your SOL in terms of getting Santa Carta. That's crazy to think about in this small span of time. That was basically all the time you had to potentially get one of your uh, favorite units in 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 the game, um, and it's gone forever now because we don't know when it's going to come back. Because as I pointed out, it's actually very complicated the way they've done Christmas because the units that they would want to bring back haven't had a rerun. And then also one of them has already been <laughs> released because its story was imported to a, to a goddess who had Rin face on it, so they had to kind of release that when they did. So I think that's the end of this video, man. I just wanted to talk about it because it, it really does bug me when they skip stuff like that. It's like, oh man, it sucks for people who... Like I, like I said before, now I'm rambling. But thank you very much for listening if you stayed all the way. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to go back to work now. Bye.